Hello stars, what's up? Welcome to today's video. Um, I hope you're doing really, really well. I'm really sorry I haven't filmed for ages. Um, I've just been focusing on like my mental health and things like that. But today, today, I've got a video basically on just a few like little tips and tricks on like self-care. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please stay tuned. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, um, so you know when I next upload. Um, I never know what this is, like a gesture. I don't know, I just, I do it, I'm sorry, it's annoying me as well, I'm sorry, sorry. Make sure you know you're comfy, you're cosy, you've got a drink, I'm just drinking a smoothie, I did five scotch yesterday and now I'm drinking a smoothie like I'm some kind of, you know, influencer. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and I hope you're all doing really well and let's get into it. Today, um, I'm going to talk about like some products and stuff to help with that well, that can help with like your recovery physically and mentally when you're not well um, and just help you de-stress. Before I do get started I do just want to um, pop a disclaimer in, trigger warning, that kind of thing. I am going to be discussing obviously different mental health conditions and discussing suicide or a suicide attempt or self-harm eating and that kind of thing just as ways of trying to recover from that so trying to see it in a more of in a way like a recovery in a more positive sense i'll try not to go into too much detail but obviously that will be discussed so if that's something you're not quite sure that you want to watch then obviously please skip this video and i'll see you for another chat or a makeup look whichever suits you what i thought i'd do is just um yeah just go through a few products and why i think they'll help and like the best way to use them i suppose if that makes sense i found them beneficial um in my um recovery ongoing recovery with um mental health i have depression and anxiety and um i'm also recovering from three quite serious suicide attempts um that ended up in hospital and um self-harm and that kind of thing so a few things that i found helpful in my recovery um that i think could be really helpful for you and a few tips i'm not an expert by any means i have no professional training or anything like that it's purely like just being realistic about talking about mental health and the realities of recovering and what's important to focus on and what's not so important because there are so many thoughts going around your head there's enough to deal with as it is so these are just a few little things so i'll stop waffling the first one um i want to talk about is when it comes to mental health sometimes like things like having a wash every day or that kind of thing um they can become really challenging like you know washing your hair every other day or whatever which they used to normally do can become something that you really just can't do or don't want to do and that's absolutely fine a few things i find that have helped is to like break it down which sounds weird but hear me out let's say you know you've you want to have a shower you want to have a shower and you want to you know wash your hair do all your face products do all your whole body shave your legs shave your underarm what or not whichever you know you want to do the whole shabam moisturize everything but you find you can't then what you could do is focus on like one area. So one thing that I found can really help is if I haven't got always got the strength to like have a full on shower or you know wash my whole body, you know everything as intricately as I would like to is to do like a body scrub. All you gotta do is you, you know, fill the bath with some warm water, sit in it and then like scrub your body with this stuff and it helps, you know, to exfoliate your skin and a nice relaxed and it smells nice. And, you know, it doesn't require too much time or too much effort. And then if you want to get out of the bath and that's it, that's done, then you're done. Um, one I really like, because I think, like, aromatherapy, it kind of helps, is the Dove Exfoliating Body Scrub Crushed Macadamia and Rice Milk Scent. It's this one here. It's not too expensive. Your bath is crunchy afterwards because it's bits of nuts, you know, in places you don't normally have them. That sounds wrong. Ignore that. Or not up to you you help you can just feel really clean and fresh and also it's a little bit of a sense of achievement as well and you did a body scrub and you're fabulous because of it that's all i'm gonna say one thing you can do that doesn't require loads of scrubbing and washing and different lotions and potions another thing is um having a really nice bubble bath if you have a really nice bubble bath with bubbles all you can do is sit in the water or lie down and just relax then you're washing your body as well as having maybe a read i love to read in the bath the amount of books i've got with like crunchy pages because i've dropped it is 
embarrassing you don't have to necessarily think about oh, i need to have a shower i need to wash whatever you literally just fill the bath and you just sit in it for however long you want to half an hour 10 minutes whatever um but if you have one with a gorgeous scent as well it can like aromatherapy again can really help um one i like is amazing grace in ballet rose philosophy it's a sharp and bad shower gel and oh my god it smells so good it's really good um it lasts ages as well and it creates loads of bubbles and it can just really just make you feel like you just manage it a little wash even if you're not managing a full-on everything so that's another thing i recommend a really really good bubble bath something i think is good is if you can't make that step getting in the bath in the shower but you want to do a little bit of self-care and or if you've managed shower and everything you just want is a face mask can be really really good because sometimes if you're in bed a lot or you're inside maybe not going out as much then you know it can sort of affect your skin which is fine but one way that's a really simple way of looking after your skin and it's make it's the process of actually putting it on and you know physical self-care and uh, you know looking after yourself um of a face mask is really good and it's really good for the mental mental health um obviously it depends on your skin type so I find this Generation Clay one, it's Brightening Purple Clay Mask, um, and it's it's to refine, brighten, illuminate and nurture. So it really looks after the skin. So that's a really, really good one. If you, yeah, if you do have combination oily skin, I think if you had dry skin, maybe not for you because a clay mask, it, you know, it can be quite dry. But one that I think is good for all skin types, I think it really doesn't matter, is this Kubella Professional Recharge and Restore Purple Moonstone Glitter Gel Mask. I have used it, so sorry, it's a bit squashed. But this, this mask, it has moonstone in it. I honestly thought, oh, I'm going to rub, like, you know, gemstones on my face. Like, how does, how does that work? But it basically, it has moonstone extract in it. It leaves skin feeling fresh and bright. It has caffeine and things like that, in which it does help. Why I like this one so much is that it's, the mask itself is, like, black and glittery. But I think for the sake of mental health, to know that you're putting moonstone on your face, it's like you could put stars on your face, like, you know, universe, I think that's pretty good for your mental health, personally. It makes me happy to put glitter on my face and to know it's helping my, my face. The mask does work, but I think besides that, I think to know that you're rubbing moonstone on your face is really quite lovely. If you just want to do something to look after yourself because it feels pretty and makes you feel nice, then use a moonstone face mask. So that's my opinion on that one. Sorry I got sassy then, moonstone. The other thing I just want to mention, because I got it on my lap, is have a fluffy blanket. I think everyone should have one reference, whoever you are. Fluffy blanket. I have like five. I think it drives my partner mad. You gotta have a fluffy blanket because then you can take it everywhere with you, wherever you go around the house. So yeah, have a fluffy blanket. Um, the other thing I do, I want to buy is, um, of course it's best if you can manage three meals a day with balanced fruit and veg and protein and fibre and everything. But sometimes when you're really, really poorly, what, by having something, say you really fancy having a granola bar, at two in the morning and you haven't necessarily eaten anything all day you go and eat that granola bar at two in the morning you know drink as much as you can and eat what you fancy when you fancy it. i think that's important because sometimes that's the only way of making sure you eat in the day because then you feel really proud of yourself you think i haven't really fancied eating anything today apart from an apple but i did eat that apple today and that's really good and well done you like applaud yourself well done you ate the apple or banana or popped up they're good and then as you slowly start to recover and maybe mentally start thinking you know i'm gonna try and have breakfast well what are you fancying you know if you're fa really finding that you really fancy toast with loads of nutella then have that it may not be the healthiest choice but right now it doesn't matter you're having breakfast and you're having some toast and that is amazing well done and then slowly you might find you know you fit more meals in or smaller meals throughout the day or snacks or just whatever whatever it is you can slowly adjust from there but i think the first thing to do is if you're having a low day if you fancy something try and have it if you're worried about eating it it's okay you have had something to eat and that's really good so well done you that would be my step say that it's not necessarily a product to recommend it's just a tip that i've i've always kind of said but it's really important it really is important um and this is all where i'll discuss more um self-harm suicides but when sometimes when you um are very low and perhaps there's been a suicide attempt or self-harm or something like that more physical it can be really good to um use aloe vera and 
um, a really good moisturiser, I find that really, really helps. Even if there isn't something like that you're recovering from, the act of putting some moisturiser on your skin, you're physically putting it on, you're thinking about your skin and what you're doing and how you're looking after it, um, but perhaps if there has been, um, you know, some self-harm or something like that, can really help it to heal. Um, I just have this in a bottle. I don't really understand the forms. I don't, the different types, I don't know. Just bog standard aloe vera. Just pop a little bit on your skin where it's a bit uncomfortable and it's amazing. And you are looking after yourself, even in that small instance. May not feel like it, but you're really, you know, lo showing love to your body. And that is so brave. Well done. Like, it's it's really good. So definitely recommend that. Um, and then the next thing I recommend is a good moisturiser for the same purpose. And you're thinking of your skin and your body's needs and nurturing it. One I really, really like is Soap and Glory, The Righteous Butter. It's just a big tub and it's a really, really good moisturiser. I really, really like this one. Um, I find I use it mostly on my arms, how my arms heal after I've been in hospital um, and on my legs as well. Another thing as well is um, moisturising your hands. It's such a small little thing. The moisturiser is the Now Bay Natural and Organic Orange Juice Hand Cream. Um, I think that's how you say it. I'm not quite sure. Um, that one there. I like to keep mine by the bed, which I know a lot of people do anyway, but even if you've had a really low day, or maybe you've managed lows, maybe you've not managed much at all, before you get into bed, pop a little bit of moisturiser on your hands, that's showing again a little bit of, of care, just at the end of the day, before you go to bed, and this one I love, because it is literally like, smells like pure orange, like fresh orange juice, it's not like artificial, it's gorgeous, which is a really soothing smell, and you know it's something really good you're putting on your body, so definitely recommend this one, I'll be repurchasing it I think, so, you know, keep it by the side of your bed, and just before you go to bed, no matter how you're feeling, just pop a little bit on, it takes 10 seconds and you know but you could even put some up your arms if you wanted to or just literally just tips of your fingers and that's a little bit of a little bit of self-care that you've done that day and it's a little something you can do just to start building up you know your self-care and showing your body some love which is very very important uh, another product i want to talk about is having a toner it's an Elemis Balancing Lavender Toner, and that's just because it's for my skin type, I find this is perfect. But I find having a toner, um, sometimes if you're not feeling very good, or um, it kind of goes with the aromatherapy thing again, I guess, and also just if you haven't managed to jump in the shower that day, um, I find giving my face a spritz with some toner, whether or not I've managed to do the rest of my skincare routine, it, it, whether or not you've managed, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Spritz of some toner over the face, and you can just leave it to settle, you can gently wipe it off, and just take a few deep breaths. It can really help to to centre you and perhaps bring you down from that panic. And just you can feel it on your skin. It'll feel cool. Generally, you know the action of spraying it, and then the smell. And it just can reignite the senses and really just help you feel whew, soothed. And that's something I really like. Again, it's only something that only takes ten seconds, but I think is really beneficial for the brain. So. Definitely recommend a toner. Where, this one I love, I will always recommend it, but it is expensive, it is pricey. I bought it as a treat. Any toner you can buy from anywhere, any company, whether it's, you know, a pound one or a £150, it, it doesn't matter. Whatever one you like and smells nice and something calming. Um, and again, it's the act of self-care. So I definitely think that's something to try. The final products I just want to talk about is Herbal that I've only been introduced to recently. She has grape alcohol, flower extracts in it. And it's called Rescue Remedy. I think a lot of people have heard of this as the nighttime one and the normal one. It's really good because it's basically it's natural. After my was in hospital, I wanted to put more natural things in my body because I knew there'd been a few chem lot of chemicals in my body, um, you know, different medications and things. So I wanted to try something a little bit more natural um, as well. Obviously, you know, I still take my medications and things, but I wanted to try something you know more natural on top. Where you put a few drops on your tongue, and it genuinely helps you feel. Whoa! Back. Sorry. It, it can really help you feel calm. It's definitely something to look into. Um, you know, perhaps talk to your doctor about it if you want to try it, um, or a family member or friend. You can get them on Amazon. Something natural to try. Um, if perhaps you don't want to try medications, or you're on medications and you want to try something out, you know. Um, I think they're really, really good. Um, my final point was going to be, it's not to do with a product as such. It's a, I don't think it's talked about a lot, but sometimes when you're not in hospital but you've been struggling is once I'd come out of hospital for my mental health I needed to be monitored pretty much 24 7 for a while um doing these things and using these products 
a little things you can still do for yourself and still feel like you've got you know a little bit of privacy whether you know you're able to have a bath maybe you have to be monitored by a parent or a friend or something like that um but you can still do these little things for yourself but if you do have to be monitored in that situation you know try not to let it upset you try not to let it get to it's okay it's not forever these people just care about you and love you and that's why the world just wants to just hold you and wrap you in a bubble for a minute and that's okay and people always want to do that it's just at the moment it just is a little bit more feels intense but it's not forever and you can still do these little things you know to make yourself feel like you okay because you are still you you are still strong and you're still loved and everything like that so there's a few little bits and bobs that you can do um but yeah i just thought i'd mention that if you are having to go through that at the moment you know you're having to you know be with someone a lot that's okay or if you feel you need someone there with you whether it's optional or not it's okay you can still do these things for yourself that are still just entirely for you okay so that's just a, a um a thought um i thought i get i just mentioned let me know if you maybe would like some more of, uh, tips on that i can go into some more detail or something like that yeah i really, really hope you enjoyed today's video sorry if it's been a bit of a waffle on so i really hope you find something beneficial in today's video don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell and i will see you next time my little stars take care of yourselves